Bruce Lee is the world's most famous martial artist. He's known for his incredible strength and speed. When Bruce Lee filmed movies, many directors actually complained that his punches were too fast for the camera to capture. I will be following Bruce Lee's original workout to train the skills he's famous for. Two finger push-ups and the one inch punch. First, we're gonna start off by testing our one inch punch. Level one. Gah! Woo! I broke level one, which is the thinnest board. Each level has an increasing thickness. Level two. Duh. Duh. <laughs> Try level three. Yeah, yeah. Duh. Before I hurt myself, I'm done. <laughs> Little did I know there's a lot more pain to come. Now we're gonna test our two finger push-ups. It might look like I'm doing nothing, but I'm trying my hardest. I also tried with five fingers. This is not happening today. But after we go through Bruce Lee's training routine, we'll test again on day seven. Now it's finally time for me to use my one incher. I've been waiting a long time for this. Each time we train this, we're gonna use progressively harder material. So today we're gonna start off with foam. The one inch thrust. Hoo! Ooh! Ooh! Ah! <laughs> Do the moans come instinctively or is that part of the training? It's channeling the chi. 100 reps. Hoo! The main difference between the one inch punch and the iron fist I trained in this video is the travel distance between my fist and the target. So it's more difficult to punch hard. Despite these restrictions, with a single one inch punch, Bruce Lee can knock over opponents who outweigh him by even a hundred pounds. But for me, my goal is to break the level three board by the end of the week. My next exercise is a hundred knee finger push-ups. We'll get progressively better each day. The hardest part about the finger push-up is the fact that your entire body weight is resting on these tiny joints on your fingers. It's hard to balance and extremely painful. Come on, this is very, very hard. Oh, the form is definitely lacking at the end here. In addition to martial arts training, Bruce Lee also did bodybuilding exercises three times per week to improve his speed, strength, and of course, to develop his glorious movie star physique. All right, it's day two of training like Bruce Lee. Today, I got a real treat for you. So we have Bruce Lee's original workout plan right here that we're gonna follow. Come take a look. So Bruce Lee has two routines. One is over here and the other one is over here. Today, we're gonna do routine number one, starting with squats. Three sets, 95 pounds. 25 pounds on each side. According to an interview with Jesse Glover, one of Bruce Lee's best students, Bruce Lee wanted his weight training to complement what he did in martial arts. And if stuff got in the way, then it had to go. Bruce Lee is jacked, bro. He looks skinny as f but this is very heavy. Yeah, this, this, I'm not gonna be able to do this. 30, drop the weight by half. Trying to keep up with Bruce Lee's workout is almost as hard as trying to catch his punch. It just ain't gonna happen, bro. The next exercise is an incline curl, and I wanted to try again at Bruce Lee's weights. I'm done. You've never looked worse <laughs> doing an exercise. His weights are insanely high, dude. It says he's 130 pounds. How heavy are you? I'm 150. He's curling half his body weight, bro. Bruce Lee is superhuman. I'm convinced. Maybe someday I'll catch up, but for now, I'm gonna do rest of the workout at half weight. This even aligns with Bruce Lee's philosophy because he geared his routine for function rather than sheer muscle size. So his workouts include a lot of stretching and movements that improve your range of motion. What? Dumbbell circles, number infinite. This is infinite. I mean, legend says he's still doing it today. I'm just gonna assume INF means until failure, but comment below what you think it means. And he always finishes his workout with the abs and the legs. So our training is all about gradual but constant growth. On day one, I couldn't even get a full five finger push up. So we're gonna try that today. Ooh. And that's why I'm pretty proud of my progress so far, even though I'm very far away from the two-finger push-up. 
Another thing Bruce Lee trained regularly is his punching speed. Sorry, I need your help. Here, grab my balls. <laughs> Hold on. I want you to throw these balls at me randomly and I'll try to hit them in the air. This is a modified boxing exercise that trains your reaction speed. Like, this is supposed to be a surprise or like... No, no, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Never take your eyes off your opponent. Oh. Oh, it's pretty fun. Oh, oh, oh like... multi shot. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah. I'm getting good at this. All right, buddy guy. I'm a ninja. Oh yeah. Yeah. Always be watching. And I finished off today's training by upgrading from foam to sandbag one inch punches. For us to get maximum benefit from Bruce Lee's training routine, we must also eat like Bruce Lee. And it's well documented that Bruce Lee mostly eats Chinese food, but once a week he eats liver. Uh, we are at an Asian supermarket because Asian people, we eat this stuff. There's pork liver, beef liver, tasty. All right, dinner is served. I got my mom to cook this. So it's beef liver with bell peppers, green onions, ginger, and spices, and a lot of flavor. There's like a slight bitter aftertaste, and it's extremely mushy in texture. This is actually pretty good. I give it a solid six out of 10. Despite the taste, the reason why Bruce Lee ate liver once a week is because it is considered a superfood. It contains a lot of vitamins and a lot of micronutrients. By the way, I see all these YouTubers pan frying liver. That's gonna be disgusting, bro. This is how you actually cook it. The authentic Chinese way. All right, it's day four, another gym day. So today we got Bruce Lee's second workout routine. It's very similar to the first one, but the exercises are switched around a little bit. Still gonna be tiring AF. All right, we're gonna start off with some squats. The squat rack is taken. We'll use a squat machine. It's actually good because the machine will help me with my form and I can do a little bit more weight. So today we're gonna add five or 10 pounds to each exercise, depending on what it is. My legs are still sore from last time's exercise. Each time I train, I'm adding more weight because to Bruce Lee, the secret of success in bodybuilding lay in the word progressive. And his entire workout was built on the three core tenets, stretching for flexibility, weight training for strength, and cardiovascular activity for his respiratory system. I'm ready to crash, I just wanna sleep. I'm so tired. Today we're gonna be training our finger strength and I'm bought this grip trainer, but I'm only gonna use it with my fingers. This is gonna train my joints for the finger push-ups. I'm just gonna carry this everywhere I go. We're taking away our finger. Moving down to four finger exponentially increases the difficulty of this exercise. And in order to finish the 100 reps, I had to take a lot of breaks in between. After the finger push-ups, I continued to practice one inch punch on each fist. And after a while, I was feeling a little confident, so I wanted to try the level three board again. Funny? I called it, bro. Unwilling to give up, I just kept trying. <laughs> wow. But that's where I messed up. Bro, do you see this? I have a f tumor. Oh my god. What the f? This is actually slightly concerning. Yeah, only slightly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, holy sh. The swelling from my hand has gone down significantly from yesterday because uh, I put some Dia uh, Dajo by your guys' recommendation. It still hurts when I punch, but good thing I'm not punching today. I'm just doing workouts. And one thing I read yesterday that inspired me is Bruce Lee, when he was 28 years old, at the height of his career, he had a severe back injury during his training. Doctors were telling him, you're not gonna be able to train martial arts for the rest of your life. But Bruce Lee doesn't like to hear you can't. So he did the only thing that he could, 
For the next year, he spent in bed researching kinesiology and eventually found a way to recover. Bruce Lee proved the doctors wrong through sheer persistence and his unwillingness to accept defeat. And this is when he came up with his famous saying, walk on. It's kind of similar to our channel slogan, go beyond, push beyond your limits. It's now the day of the final test. Let's get started with the two finger push-ups. On day one, I wasn't able to get five finger push-ups, but through repeated practice, I was able to get down to four finger push-ups. Today, let's start off with three fingers, then we'll move to two fingers. Five reps each just to prove that I can do it with confidence. Now, time for the two finger push up. Oh, oh, oh. I wasn't expecting that, honestly. <laughs> I, I haven't tried it with two, but when it comes to performance under pressure, you know I always got it. Two finger push ups, baby. I'm actually a little impressed. Next, we'll test our one inch punch, starting with level two, because we already beat level one. This is a one inch punch, level two. Solid? Yeah, it's pretty solid. Yeah, okay. Um. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> After a couple tries, it's starting to bruise again. With the right hand, I couldn't put my full force into it because I don't want to damage it more. It would be a pretty disappointing video if I just gave up here, so I'm trying again with my left hand. Ooh, we good, right? Very good. Woo! <laughs> level two, baby! Now it's time for level three of the one inch punch. And yesterday, we asked strangers to try the one-inch punch, so watch that video after this. It's pretty solid. This is what broke me, but I'm gonna break it. Good thrust. Okay, come on. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is seven days training like Bruce Lee, and we broke the hardest board with a one-inch punch. And if you want to see strangers attempt a one-inch punch, click here to watch that video. Strangers. Tell them to click it. Yeah, click it right now. Click it. Lots of strangers thrusting. That, that hurt. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, that hurt. My hand still moves. <laughs>